Hey guys, um, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna react to to the oil files and to day five. It's about Whitney, bro, bro, and Terry. Yo, Terry, Jesus is back. Let's go. All right, let's react. Hello. Hi. Let me the end. See how stuff. We just stuff for side of these. Type the more rap puzzle stuff. Oh, this is a cup. The, oh, this is oh, this is a continuation from this video right here. Nice. That stuff like old photos, C C cassettes, more CDs, and a few VHS tapes. Let me just grab that new one. So I see enough money to buy a VHS to DVD conversion kit. I'm gonna try to look for my grandpa's old stuff. Mm -hmm, reason why the music gives like that. First label, label, video convert was a table label to anime video. I'm gonna get a little more stuff to find in the future. Okay, Terry. Hello, BSI employees and technicians. Hello. At Bonds Burgers, we believe it is important that our guests leave with a smile. Yes. And a main factor in that is our attractions. And the biggest of our establishment is our lead animatronic band, The Showstoppers. Our characters, designed by the wife of one of our founders, our cast includes Bonds... Designed by the wife of one of our founders. I like just cuts off before it says it. I'm pretty sure we all know who it is. Also, I saw Shaw in... Thumbnails. So it'll be another shower related video. You know, that'll be cool if all these videos related to fan animatronic. But like I said, I'll be blue one. Mm -mm. We're not it. The Rabbit, Boozoo the Magician, Shaw the Sheep, Benny the Bunny, and Billy the Clown. Oh, hi, Billy. What's up, buddy? Oh, so you got a Boozoo. I got to do some crap work for somebody as Booze as a for Boozoo. Best remind me. Thank you. It is important to remember that we must take proper care of our animatronic performance and maintain the illusion that these are living characters. This video manual will teach employees the proper precautions and steps for checking on, cleaning, maintaining, and repairing our mascot characters. All right. For any further questions regarding these procedures, please contact your supervisor. Now that we've gotten everything out of the way, let's begin the guide. No, yeah. it seems like Shaw's costume is starting to wear out. Oh, I thought it was the back rooms. I said, sort of I'm like, is this the back rooms? Those are the back rooms. Not only that, but her robotics aren't working as well either. Oh no! Seems like we will have to remove her costume and do a movement test. Alright, Shaw, time to strip! Due to her interior mechanisms being nearly identical to most of the characters, excluding the Billy the Clown character. Oh yeah, Billy's just basically fucking sticks. I, but imagine, imagine though, because apparently Billy's mostly just sticks. What if, now that he's possessed, he can walk around now? It'd be kind of creepy. Because you remember, the women have trust for that too are, aren't really supposed to move to walk around. Do you know how broken they are? But they still do. Think about that. There is no need to cover any of the other characters. Ah, damn, it's never Shaw one. Oh, damn. But don't be wrong with Shaw, I just, we got, we got a Shaw video yesterday, last time. Last time, I was kind of hoping we would get another character. Because the character. No, the, okay, there's nothing wrong with Shaw, but I just was kind of hoping we got another character, because we got a Shaw one last time. Who knows, maybe next video we'll see we get a different character, like, maybe like Bandy or something. Like. Measure actually, wait, real quick, who is the most... This, oh, wait, I'll read that in a minute. Yeah, but, real quick to you guys. Who is the most most tragic ghost in the 
Well, to you guys. I don't know, we'll see. Features regarding Billy the Clown character, like the tape player and hair, will be covered in the next section of this man. Hair? What's with the hair? 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 I mean, these shots, Shaw Buju's hair, like, what, fleece, maybe? Maybe some fluffy fabric? Just stuff to get it? Hold up. Nope. Yeah, we, what are the two their hair made out of? My that. Make my friend zip zip about that. But I'm not curious. Stop. Daniel, before we begin, you need to transport the character from the main stage to the back room. The back room! First, move a ramp in front of the stage. Next, unbolt character's feet. The bolt it down. Uh-oh. From the stage. And finally, wheel out the character to the back room. Now that the character has been moved to the correct room, the first step is to Maybe properly they, wash your hands they, before they, handling mascot parts. Second, you shots in the back rooms. And in case of hurt or damage, remove the ears, jaw, and head. Next, check cosmetics for dirt or wear. If the cosmetic the, no, sh there's the dirt right there. is dirty, clean it off with BSI brand cleaning supplies. It is important to remember if a cosmetic happens to be damaged or worn. Place it in the cosmetic disposal bin, then swap it out with a replacement. If you happen to run out of replacement cosmetics, first contact your supervisor so more cosmetics can be ordered, and after the full diagnostic is completed, we'll have the character to the designated room where they will be stored. Step 4. Check the animatronic head for wear. Check eyeballs and iris for wear or dirt. Clean or touch up with paint if needed. Check- What the hell moves the jaw? Jaw, is that this, this weird thing down here? What? Okay. Here. Here. Because like, they're like little small flaps, right? Right? I'm gonna say, damn, that's, a power that's one powerful flap to move a jaw. Check nuts, screws, and bolts for tightness, looseness, or wear. Replace as needed. Do not apply head cosmetic until the head, eye, and jaw movement diagnostic has been completed. Step 1. For the body, remove any accessories that are placed on the body cosmetic, whether that be bow ties or collars, etc. The second step is to remove arm cosmetics, starting with the hands, forearms, and upper arms. Next, remove the leg cosmetics, starting with the feet, lower leg, and upper leg. Finally, we're still unsavory in that body, are we? Because this is pretty unsavory. It's gonna be sensory or something. Let's see. Remove the main body cos- Oh! Never mind. Cosmetic. For the sake of this instruction, we will only be applying the cosmetics after the animatronic diagnostic. Alright. This section of the instruction manual will check if any animatronic interior mechanics are worn out and in need of repair. If there are no spare replacement parts, contact your supervisor so that more parts can be ordered. Step 1. Get out CyberFun Mascot Controller. DJ! This is a controller used to puppet animatronics during non-scripted shows. However, it can also be used to check if the animatronic parts or joints are moving properly. Alright. Step 2. Look for the button on the controller with the word mouth. This button will puppet the mouth part of the animatronic. Make sure to listen carefully for anything that can- Yes, this! That's what one powerful flap to move a jaw, dab! Sound like clicking. If you hear clicking when puppeting the jaw mechanism, oil with lubricant, and make sure to wipe off any excess oil or lubricant so that it does not deposit onto the character cosmetics. Step 3 is the eyes. Look for the- The eyes don't move. If I recall. No, in the Wild Files lore, the lore and characters were saying you should be like- the ears didn't move. That's probably why the ears look like bolts. Like, because like, they can, they can, they can swing, they can swing. As like, as like, maybe like, a uh, thing to, sh to pretend to move, to give the illusion of movement. I guess they, with these, they, they can move, so that's cool. Buttons on the controller labeled left eye and right eye. Press the left eye button. If the eyes are not moving, properly readjust spring until this is no longer a problem. Now press the right eye button. If the eyes are not moving accordingly, 
readjust the springs. The final step is the head. To move the head to the right, simply turn the controller wheel to the right. All right. The movement will be assigned to your right, not Shaw's. Awesome! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! I don't need you for that fun time Freddy BS. BS. I don't need you for that fun time Freddy BS. God, thank you. If the head is functioning properly, then move the head to the left. Did I move to my left? That's my left, yeah. If there are no issues regarding the head movements... What? Can I storage unit? Ooh, I think I see some teasers of this. Hello, this is uh, Michael Fisher. I am an employee and technician working for the Bunny Smiles Company and I am in the K-9 storage unit in St. Juana's Forest. I was told by my supervisor that my job here tonight is basically just to check on the films and then do some maintenance on those mascot characters in the back. Um, first thing I'm supposed to do is uh, check on some old films, make sure there isn't any damage to it or any, uh, any uh, like dust collecting on anything and make sure to clean it. And then I have to uh, work on the characters as I said, so, yeah. Alright, All right, I've reviewed the maintenance instruction tape and I will be attempting to do the movement diagnostic on the Shaw the Sheep character. I have my... She moved her skate. She's missing a finger. Looks like she is. This. Damn. Electronic controller right with me, and I will basically try to see if there's any problems with the characters and the mechanism and, and see if it's functioning thing. properly. And then I'll begin to attempt to uh, basically fix any problems going on well, with the back you know, mechanisms and such. Man, this thing's kind of creepy. But regardless, you know, I have to do my job, so... Yeah. Let's start with the head. I'm sure you're supposed to strip the character of his cosmetics before you do that, bro. You're not, not going to look perfect, but still. Okay, the head seems to be having some problems. It seems to... It functions, but you know, it has some problems with the movement and such. Might need to, you know, might need a little bit of fixing with the screws and such. Okay, let's move on. Crap, sorry about that. Uh, uh, this one has space. This bastard has space again. 
Again, I, this is a completely new laptop, by the way. This is a new laptop. So I don't know why it's running out of space so easily. Wait, damn, does it really have that much space on it? Like, what the hell? Oh, yeah, for that free. Wait, what the hell is it because of space? Is Roblox be calls having that much space on it? Damn. Let's continue the video. Hold on. Someone's here. Hold on. Check. So, guys, my dad came back home and I got some food. Hey, let's go see. Watch. The guys, we're gonna do the eyes. Okay, eyes aren't moving see. at all. I don't know why. Yeah, I can barely um, see the eyes. I'll probably have to readjust the springs on those. Alright. Also, guys. Pop pies! Okay, draw seems to not be working at all. Okay. Damn. Let's go on to the arms now. Left arm. A little. It's just trying, it's trying. It feels so weird when, when just that part of your arm lifts up. This one doesn't actually move. Okay, the left arm doesn't seem to be. I'm gonna put that, put that up there just in case a jump scare happens. I don't want to splash out of his laptop. Working. Let's move on to the right. Wait, did the lights go out? Oh yeah, we did. Great, great, great. Power went out, so I guess I'm gonna have to check my map right now. Now where are we at, bud? Yep. Okay, so. okay, so the generator room seems to be a few doors down to the right, I think. Uh, Okay, so the power should be... Jesus Christ! ROCKET?! What the hell am I looking at right now? I don't know, is it moving?! Or is it just a camera? It kind of looks like one of the characters with like a smaller version of them. I'm not sure, but, you know. Direction power off. Not sure what this is. Oh god, that scared me! The look is scary. I'm not, I'm just kidding. I was wondering why I was looking guys so close to it. Not sure what this is. Good night, Molly. Mommy and Daddy love you too. Very much. My sweet little bunnies. Sweet dreams. Oh, God, it's like Fyodor from the silver eyes. No! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You think Shrosky is still there? Nope, I've never seen my screen. What the hell is this? I think it got off. Yeah, we got it off. I got it off. But, if you don't have silver eyes, my Fyodor has a button on him. When you press it, it will be Henry's voice saying, I love you, Charlie. Really? You think the button right there in Rocket, you press it, it would, it would say that? But this button right here. Let's continue. Can I think you know what's going to happen next? This guy came out alive. Oh, you just go back? Oh, oh no, his light went out. Uh oh! I can't barely see what it is! <laughs> this door, wait, yeah, it's the door. Is it opening? Yes, yeah, open it! No video! I think that was a bond. I think that was a bond, guys. We gotta drive it away? <laughs> ah! Oh, Jesus Christ! <sighs> Alright. Got me there! Driving away, then okay. No, 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 stay away. No, no, what? no, no, oh. no, 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 no,
See, this is how you make these crap scary. You don't see Bond mutilating the guy. You just hear him screaming. You don't hear Bond, you just hear the guy screaming. It's like, I'm assuming that's Bond. That's Bond. Scary. Okay, now whatever the hell Urban Spooks is doing. Dude, we do not talk about that guy on this channel. Huh. Oh, Blood's dead, okay. Oh! Who's this handsome fud? Who's this, who's this handsome devil? Was that the guy? The man who recorded this was Michael Fisher. Oh! Oh, is this Terry talking again? That Mike? <clears throat> I just went for a voice crack, my bad. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm not thinking well. I'm thinking my. Da Dad! The camera! I'm recording. Yeah, what dishes? Yeah? Yeah? I'm not gonna say the password on, on YouTube. Yeah. Alright. Bring a peacock, I switch to a different account. It's a play where we're about corporate in 1994. Hi, Clover. Hey, guys, look, it's Clover. Look, it's Clover. It's Clover. Clover. Hang on, I want to see the camera can see this. Hold on. Do you see Clover? Clover! Okay, Clover! See that camera, Clover? Don't. She's camera shy. Hi. Hey, Clover. Camera Clover. Hey, the camera Clover. She looks concerned. I'll put her down. I'll put her. I'll put her down. Oh, now you want? Hey, now you want to be back on the camera? Hi. Hi. Hi, Clover. Her thread looks weird from this angle. <laughs> and you're like, why is this crutch for? <laughs> he, he went missing on, on April 5th, 1994. I, I think we know what happened to him. His body is found in the Missouri Forest, right to the UK source. To, uh, <clears throat> Jesus. I'm recording something. I'll write that afterwards. Jeez. No, why? Why did he now? Oh, Alright, hold on, guys. Let me just, let me just give us a demo back password. <laughs> Turn out that. He, but that was just wanting me to wanted a password. For just, no, but he's. I'm not sure you guys could hear that, but that just happened. This body was found in St. Hawaii's Forest, Brighton. Nate, like said, the canine's canine storage unit he was supposed to work at. Did that picture of his body? Oh, K9. This appears at two people in the facility. It's one Michael's death. The storage unit was set down. Two people. To Guess one of them's. Oh, Ashley and Brian, okay. Things are destroyed to be moved for another facility, or auctioned off, or destroyed. Destroyed. Ah, interesting. Are you trucks for auctioned off or destroyed? Christ. Oh. Does Martin. Hey, this is kind of a profile break video, Windy Bro. Me, Michael. Dual personality, Rose. Uh, oh, we got the rocket voice. To be, it's my idea. Design show this rocket. But anyway, that's it for this video, guys. We did wipe up face, and I got it together because my computer's weird. See you guys next time. Goodbye.